Your declaration of interest as a practising NHS GP. Cabinet Secretary, you falsely accused me of not believing the evidence. Perhaps it is just a lack of understanding on your part, given the government the chair, had to change the chair, their Dr. release Gohan. due to my complaint. Let's start with alcohol-related deaths. They're at a 14-year high in Scotland. And even a novice statistician would tell you hospitalisation data was not statistically significant. There are 40 studies in the evaluation of MUP, and only one claimed a reduction in deaths. Saying MUP has reduced deaths is not accurate, as it was an estimate based on statistical modelling, and if compared to Northern Ireland and not England, would have shown MUP caused deaths. The number of people seeking help for alcohol reduced by 40%, along with referrals to alcohol treatment. The purpose of a policy such as MUP should surely have been to reduce consumption of alcohol by those who are dependent drinkers. And Public Health Scotland's own data shows those with alcohol dependence are foregoing food. MUP is not the magic bullet that the Scottish Government are continuing to laud. So, if MUP was not designed to help those with alcohol dependence, what has the Scottish Government done to mitigate the harms that were obviously going to happen to them over the last five years? And what is the Scottish Government's policy for dependent drinkers that you have clearly abandoned? Deputy First Minister. Um, let me first uh, start by quoting from Justina Murray, who is the Chief Executive of Scottish Families Affected by Alcohol and Drugs. And she said in response to Sandesh Gohani, I think you're possibly the only person in the room who doesn't believe the evidence. You know, we've lost over 11,000 people specifically to alcohol over the past decade. Families really don't understand why this is still being debated. I think Justina Murray encapsulates my feelings uh, very well indeed. In relation to alcohol-specific deaths, um, for the evaluation, the question is not whether deaths went up or down, it's whether deaths changed compared to what would have happened if MUP had not been in place. And it's likely that without MUP, tragically, we would have experienced an even greater number of alcohol-specific deaths. That has been echoed by public health experts, the experts, such as Michael Marmot, in the letter written to The Lancet, which said, and I'm sure being a doctor, Sandesh Gohani will know about The Lancet and the importance of The Lancet, which said policymakers can be confident that there are several hundred people with low incomes in Scotland who would have died as a result of alcohol, who are alive today as a result of minimum unit pricing. Presiding officer, I know who I listen to, yeah. and that's the public health experts. And I think we'll leave Sandesh Gohani to talk for himself. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, presiding officer. Um, just that I'm aware that the cabinet secretary has had to step in at the last minute to replace Michael Matheson, so may not be aware of all the facts. The facts are Scotland has experienced a 25% increase in alcohol-related deaths in the past three years alone. Fact, in the past 10 years, the number of people accessing alcohol treatment services has gone down by 40%. Fact, is the Cabinet Secretary really trying to tell us, and with great pleasure, that a huge hike in drink pricing and a cost-of-living crisis is the best solution? Deputy First Minister. I don't know if Jackson Carlaw is in the chamber, but all I can do is to reflect with an element of sadness how far we've travelled from the very constructive, evidence-led approach taken by the likes of Jackson Carlaw, who set politics aside to support uh, minimum unit, unit pricing uh, when it was introduced. And in terms of being in full um, command of the facts, I think Tess White should perhaps remember that it was me that took minimum unit pricing through this parliament way before Tess White uh, was uh, a member uh, in here. So I am very much aware of the facts. And at no point have I stated that somehow minimum unit pricing is a magic bullet. In fact, I just said to Carol Mochan in recognition that it is one part of the jigsaw of how we tackle alcohol-related harm. I also answered to her colleague the issue, issue the complex issue of alcohol-related deaths and why uh, the, the evaluation um, takes account 
of the impact of other uh, issues as well, not least in terms of the COVID years and the evaluation took account of the COVID years. I also answered the issue around referral to treatment services, that we need to understand why there is a reduction in people being referred to treatment services, which is why Public Health Scotland have been asked to investigate all of that. I said that in my statement, if Tess White had been listening. Thank you, Deputy First Minister. I'm going to have to... Um, speed things along a bit. There's a lot of interest in asking questions. I want to get through as many as I can.